Hey, what's up, boy? It's your boy, Mr. Two Tone. You know, another head of the CEO from the Strip 9 ENT. Shout out to Jan the Box again. I'm here with my boy, David Lopez. This is part two of the part one that you probably just saw. Some people that might have right past you, but for the rest that can keep up, hey, here we go. Hey, uh, Mr. Lopez, well, what age did you start writing music? Well, I probably started writing on paper. I was about 15. You know, I started freestyling when I was 13. Right, right. Okay, what what drives you every day to continue to do what you do, my man? Let the people know. I'm just addicted to doing it, whether if anybody's watching or not. I just like doing it so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love hip-hop. Right, right. I want you to go ahead and tell them where you're from. Man, originally I'm from El Paso, Texas, Lower Valley. Town. But uh, you know what I'm saying? I spent I spent time all over, man. Cali, all over Texas, Oregon. And I'm pretty sure there's some places I can't remember. Yeah, right, right. Hey, we've all woken up with that though. <laughs> but um anyways, on a better note, what would you say is one of the artists right now that you can see yourself Making a phone call to if you could right now and tell him, hey man, I want to put you on this joint. What artist would that be? Buster Rhymes. Buster Why Rhymes. would it be Buster? Man, Buster Rhymes, because I got so much respect for Buster. As an MC, he is a complete MC. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can go out there and be real cold at their own style. And that's that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But there are some MCs who evolve to a level where it's like it don't matter what kind of beat you throw at them, they're going to come out beastly on it. And sometimes you're going to be like, I didn't even know if that was that dude. You know what I'm saying? Unless you see the name of the feature or the face on it. Because they're so versatile. They do exactly what the beat asks of them. Buster Rhymes is one of those people. Buster Rhymes ain't always just been spitting fast. When Buster Rhymes first came out, I remember, man, he was like a loud rapper, you know what I'm saying? With punchlines and all that. But he can do, he's grown to the point where he's so versatile. I can call him but if I could. I call him up and be like, let's do this joint. And it don't matter what kind of beat, you know, beat it is. I promise and I guarantee it's going to come out nice. Right, right. But before we end this interview and we head out in closing, why don't you go ahead and tell the people what kind of projects you've been working on, man? Uh, I got the I Declare War album about to drop. And I got another album on the makes. I'm working on a lot of stuff, though. You know, I got the inventions, the books. Right. I got an art exhibition coming up this year. Hopefully, I run out of time. I'm working on everything. So you know, it's good. continuous grind, huh? Yep, inertia. Inertia. Right. Won't you explain what inertia is to some people? They don't understand. And you don't understand that word. Uh, man, it just means constant motion. I'm looking up in the dictionary. Right. Yep. All righty, man. Well, we signing out. We signing off. 432 is in the building, you know what it is, your boy Mr. Two-Tone, David Lopez with two Z's, hey, yo, I don't know what y'all finna do, but you know what we finna do, we finna get out here, strange clouds, strange clouds, and we gone.